In 2014, only 450 albums were noteworthy enough to be listed in Wikipedia's list of albums. According to this guy's good buddy, Paul Gambicini, who is a widely recognized as a world authorized collector of albums, says the album is roughly 43 minutes and 17 seconds long. Billboard indicated roughly 100,000 albums are produced a year, from small unknown computer projects to big budgeted heavily marketed pieces. If we divide 100,000 by 365, that's roughly roughly 274 albums a day, or roughly 11,782 minutes of music a day. That's eight days of music a day released a day. How does one go about filtering through the white noise that is the internet mining for golden priceless gem-like albums? Why that is what the music reviewer was born for. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to develop an acquired ear so that you too can filter through the plebeian tunes to find works of sonic art. Step 1. Listen to every song ever released of all time. Start off with the first music. Listen to the sounds of cavemen throwing rocks at things. This is where rock and roll began. This music would later evolve into the Bronze Age of music, also known as metal, and then get even harder and harder and harder with its post metal -y cores. Listen to this music and you'll get the gist of what Neanderthals used to listen to. Now listen to blues music. Blues music is basically sad emotional music. It's the type of music people that were oppressed with drinking problems would make. Or it is also the type of music young, angry, confused adolescents listen to when their moms tell them to go to their room. Now, let's listen to dance music. Dance music is the strangest form of music because it forces you not to listen to music with your ears and brain, but rather to listen to music with things that normally can't even hear, like your genitals and your butt. So shake your booty around to various kinds of dance music. From the waltz, to the ballroom dance, to twerking your butt in an underground industrial European dungeon. Some dance music is music to jump to, so practice jumping at around 120 to 128 beats per minute and you'll better appreciate the dance music culture. Now listen to hip hop. Hip hop is the type of music you can be hip and still hop to, so go skipping while listening to this particular style of music. Listening to the lyrical content is also crucial when judging hip hop because sometimes people hide the truth in those lyrics. Be sure to listen to music from other countries too, from Far East Asia to the Middle Eastern drone music to the techno beats of the Northern European circuits to African tribal beats made in New York to Caribbean cruise music to Bjork to Bjork to Bjork. Listen to Bjork. Listening to every single song ever made can take several lifetimes. So the easiest way to do this is by simply standing still and not doing anything for a really long time. Step two, pick an album and an artist and walk outside and scream their name. The whole wide world needs to know who they are. Frank Jaffsey, Volume 1. Step 3. Now it's time to give your opinion about the piece of music you've just heard. Hello internet, it is me, Frank Anthony Jaffsino here. I like music that's on the internet. As you can see by my huge record collection behind me, I sure do listen to a lot of albums, so this is why you need to listen to my opinions. I will be reviewing Frank Jaffsey's debut album, Frank Jaffsey, Volume 1, by Frank Jaffsey. Look at that vinyls collection! It's just a green screen. Yeah, he must be an even better music man than you! It's superimposed there, after the fact. Must be nice to have all those vinyls. Listen to them in the car, listen to them in the shower, or outside. Listen to them out OUTSIDE! Remember, musicians are emotionally distraught people who can't deal with their own emotions in normal ways, so they have to record the sounds they make in a rhythmic and melodic fashion. This is also known as insanity. So be sure to treat them with a lot of respect and dignity. His singing is really annoying. He's like a walrus shooting up heroin with diarrhea inside a reverbed can. Frank Jeffsy starts off his album with a song called I Wanna Get High With You. He already starts off his album by influencing teens to do drugs. Then he has this track, Witch House, where he just says Witch House over and over again. He doesn't even know what real Witch, witch House is. I thought I told you I never wanted to see you again. I just wanted to see if you wanted to go get ice cream. <laughs> you know what you've done. Where was I? This guy's just trying way too hard to be relevant. Then he has a song called Never Sleep. I couldn't sleep 
because of all the nightmares that song caused me to have. Then he has this vaporwave track called War Is Not The Answer, which is just... Then he has this track called Marijuana Future Bass, where he goes to the future and smokes marijuana. Like I said, bad influence for the kids. Frank's raps on that album are just atrocious. He rhymes conspire with fire, desire. What did he go on rhymezone.com? And I mean, what's up with his glasses? Like, is he trying to be Skrillex? Step four, now that you've given your opinion on a piece, it's time to rate the album as a collective whole. Some albums are like storybooks where each track contains a story. Some albums are like a mix of a bunch of random things put together, sometimes called a mixtape. Remember, you must listen to an album all the way through in order to really appreciate the music. By giving it a numbered score between 1 and 10, you can better indicate the quality of an album. If the album is in the middle of a rating, give a strong or light connotation. I can't even give this album a numerical score. I mean, I would give it a harsh zero, but that, that would even be putting it light. I'm going to give this album a strong, meaty, uncut zero because that album is just so bad. It just sucks. It's the worst album I have ever heard in my entire life. My ears could not stop vomiting and vomiting and vomiting after I heard this album. I had to go to the hospital and I don't even have health insurance. It cost me $63,000 just to get new ears after listening to this album. This mixtape has to be the worst mixtape I have ever reviewed in my entire life. Step five, ask the viewer their opinion. Because even though their opinion doesn't matter, their opinion still matters. So tell me what you think, fam. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Frank Anthony Jaffcino here. Frank Jeff C, Volume 1. Forever. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Thank you so much for supporting and subscribing. I was so excited to work with Anthony Fantano. Like, can you believe that? Like, I couldn't believe that. I was freaking the freak out. Thank you so much, Anthony Fantano, for appearing in my video, for helping me out, for, you know, being an inspiration, for helping everyone around the world. You are important, Anthony Fantano, and I want to let you know that. Thank you so much. I think you should review my mixtape. I want you to give me an honest score. Don't, don't sugarcoat it because I am a YouTuber who says stuff. I want to hear your full honest opinion because your opinion matters a lot to me and the world. Thank you. I want to thank papasam.tumblr.com for drawing this fan art of me. Look at that mustache. It's beautiful. You are a wonderful human being for drawing me with such a beautiful mustache. It is very aesthetic. Aesthetic. Thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys all fill my heart with such positive vibes and such goodness that I don't know what I'd be doing without you guys. I love all of you. All of you. Good night.